Hey, what up guys, it's Caleb here. So I just came back to Vancouver from a two months vacation. I spent a month in Hong Kong with my parents and then I flew to Japan for another three weeks to do a road trip there. So this time in Japan, I went up north to go visit the uh, the, the snow villages and, uh, and the mountains and uh, onsen in the snow, Fox Village, a lot of cool stuff. Um, I have a video up about a week ago um, of my vlogging video in Japan. So if you care about my trip, if you care about the traveling video, go check that one out. I think that's very beautiful. And um, for this video, I want to talk about how did you build a web application from scratch, especially if you're a designer and if you're new to it, you just want to know like how the whole thing works. I think this video will kind of give you some ideas where to go about doing that. And I'm going to use Classity as the example, um, but you can apply the same same, pros, um, same like process on any other project that you work on for your clients or for yourself. Um, so let's get started. So when I'm designing a web app, there are things that I'll need from the client or things that I need to come up with before I can design the product. So I put together some steps and process that I use when I'm designing a web app and we're going to go over each of these items. So the very first thing that you need is a product spec or a feature spec or feature document, whatever you want to call it. It's basically a document that will tell you what the platform is about, what does your product do, um, how would the user use it? So if you're working with a client, your client is probably going to give you this document. But if you're building a platform for yourself, then you really need to think about what are the features that are important to your users. And you want to build those features for the users. Um, so I want to show you like how did I come up with um, the, the, the product spec for Classity. It's actually a pretty big document that I put together. It's like a 16 or 15 pages document that shows all of the features that I will need to have on the platform. So like for the documents, I can show you like how do I lay, lay things out. So for let's say for search classes page. So I need to think about like how would users search for the products, right? So I want to have like a top search um, at the very top of the page and people can type in whatever, type in category or whatever they need to be able to search for that class. So within the search page, I just list out the detail about the search function. And on that page as well, I'll need a map view. So I need a map to show out the classes on the on the page. So within that map view, and then I, I basically just say that system should ask automatically detect the user location display classes within that area. So all of these like detail things that I really want user to have and want, want to design for, I'll just put it up here. So I want the user to be able to filter those classes as well. So what are the filter? Within the filter, I want to be able to filter by the class type. I want to be able to filter by the price per lessons, availability, um, experience, background checks, and reviews, and all of these things, right? So you can kind of tell like how do I lay things out? How do I break um, each feature into smaller points? And then I design based on those things that I set on this feature document. So it's very, very important. You really want to think about what are the feature that you would like to design for and then stick to this document. So for the second step is to come up with a product map. And this is going to be a very important step because it gives you a much bigger picture of the product, a much clearer picture of the product. So instead of looking at a long document, you basically just see your platform in a glance and it will take you on a user journey as well. Let's say if you're going from the home page and then on the home page you will have a few options. If you're not signed up, you can search a class, you can go to the help page, you can sign up, or if you're logged in, you can go to my profile. So if you decide to sign up, then you will take you to the create profile page and then to create a class and then they see your view your class detail and to save your class and publish your class and all that kind of thing. So basically it just take you as a user to like where things is gonna go and to give you a much bigger much better picture of like how the platform all link together. For wireframe and layout, um, the very first thing that I would do is to come up with a bunch of sketches to just get the idea of course. Like how do I lay out the page? How do I put the boxes around? Um, what kind of information am I going to include in this section? So these are the things that you don't necessarily have to show your clients. These are the things that just to help you think about how do you lay out the page. So for example, these are the things that I will kind of come up with. Like it's very messy, like there's a bunch of things happening in here. 
probably if you look at it, you're not gonna understand. But when I look at it, I can I can I can know that hey, these are the things that I'm gonna design. I'm gonna put on that section. So or maybe like quick quick like wireframe sketches like that. You just know that like you know like how each box is gonna look like inside the page. So when I work on Cassidy, I just come up with a bunch of notes like that. Like people are definitely not gonna understand. And I don't need to show people other than you guys. I don't need to show people how good it looks like. So I'm not like spending a lot of time on making it look pretty. It's just basically things that in my mind that I know like how do I want to lay things out. And also for wireframing, um, I didn't do this for Closity, but sometime when I'm working with the client, I do come up with the black and white version of the mockup first. And the reason for that is to really, really have the client to focus on the usability side of things and really think about the UX and how people are going to use the platform without being distracted by all the visual detail, let's say images or colors and all that. So the black and white version is very good for really thinking about the functionality problems and not the visual side of things. So for this wireframes is all about like usability for the platform. So coming to the design phase is basically a phase where you'll put together all of your design assets, all of your design elements for each of the page on the spec document. So for for example, we talked about the search class page in the spec documents and we talked about you know we need a top search on the page so this is the top search and we also talked about we'll need to have a filter class section where you can filter by class type filter by qualification filter by price filter by a lot of other things and we also mentioned we'll need to have you know a map view to display the classes on the map so this is what the map view is going to look like this is all of the classes for different category and we also talk about like we'll need to have individual card to display those classes and the detail of the class. So we'll need to design for what would happen when it's closed, what would happen when the card is open. So each of these things is basically lists out in all of your pages for your application. So we can see like what are the variations, like what would happen when the class when, when, when a user pin a class, what would the pin column be looking like? So basically, Classity is a very, very big app, and I created all of these pages based on the uh, the spec document that I list out. And you can see that the platform has about like I think fifty to sixty pages, and it took me a very, very long time to create all of these pages. I think it took me like more than one year to design for it but I wasn't like really full time on it but I think the time I spent on designing for the platform you know like all of these features and designing the system and everything it basically took me maybe like more than 700 or 800 hours to really spend on thinking about all of these issues and and what happened when you click on all of this button so the whole system is very very complicated but I took a long time to really figure things out and, and, and what happened, like when to send email and all of these like systematic things. So it's a big project, but you know, like really fulfilling, but it takes a long time. So when you're working on it, just basically create the spec document and then design your page based on the spec document and all the features that you laid out. So coming to the last step is the prototyping step or the user testing step, but I shouldn't even call it the last step because you know I would recommend you guys to engage your client or engage your user much early on in this process. So when you whenever you finish some part of the project, let's say the search function, you should definitely get your client or user on board to give you some feedback on your work just to make sure that you're on the right chat and the thing that you're designing can actually be used by your users. So this is gonna be very important. And in this step, I wanna show you guys how to put together the prototype for on the mission and to show my client, show my users what is gonna happen and how do you leave feedback, how do you receive feedback on the platform. So for receiving feedback on the platform, it's just very simple. You just basically tap on the comment, comment area and then you, your user can basically comment or you can leave notes on anywhere on the page. So commenting is a very good tool that I always use with my client on InVision. Or also you can create a kind of um, a linking area where it will take you to a different page. So let's say if I want this area to link to um, the, the search page or whatever, I can link it to there. So I already create a linking area on my 
on my search field. So if I tap on that, if I type anything, it's going to link me to the search page. So what's going to happen on the search page? I will ask the client, hey, so if I want to know more about card detail, what would you do? So let's say if they tap on this area, then the card is going to open up and then I will ask something like, what if you want to book your class right now, which button would you click on? So if you want to pin your class right now, where would you click and see if they can find the pin button. So then they click on the pin button, it's going to jump up this view to show like, hey, how, how, the, how the column is going to look like when it's pinned and get the idea on like, you know, like what would you like about the pin column? What would you like to see there? And things like that, ask a bunch of questions and that's what I usually do for, you know, user testing part. So let's say when you, the last thing you can see is like, so if I wanna see more class detail, where would I go? Then they may click on this class button, go to the class detail page, and then you can ask something like, hey, so if I wanna to talk to the client, if I wanna to talk to the teacher, where would I contact them? Or if I want to book the class for full package, where would I click so for each of these things you can really you know ask ask your your, your client problem or ask uh, questions or ask your potential user question then you can get a lot of information by this step and eventually when the whole prototype finish you know every single page on the mission you're it's, it's going to be for your developer to develop based on you know the, the linking and the places it basically just tell them when I click on this button it's going to go to this page and all of the functionality all of the linking for your developer to work on so that's about it guys um, those are all of the things that I would do when I'm working on a web app project and if you are a client, I really hope that this video kind of give you an idea what kind of design process that I take or what would it be when you're working with a product designer. Or if you're a designer getting started in the whole UI and UX thing and you're wondering like how to build a product, I hope this video kind of give you a framework or kind of like it give you some process structure to follow through and to create something awesome. So if you like about the content, if you like about the thing that I talk about, definitely give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel as well. I'm going to produce more content like that or back to maybe like more design focus, teaching you the design techniques and stuff like that. I think people are more liking that type of video more. Uh, but yeah, anyway, subscribe to my channel, follow me on the social media links account below as well. Sign up on Classic too if you would like to, you know, like teach something or learn something on the platform. And I'll talk to you guys next time. Cheers.